Good morning, class. So, my name is uh, Jeremy Atanda. I'm a teacher of uh, English. Today's uh, topic is about uh, music. Music, as you know, uh, plays a paramount role in, uh, in our life, and uh, it's very important for people okay, around the world and uh, so forth. So, uh, we let's focus on music and uh, its definition. Okay, uh, before uh, uh, dealing with the music definition, but I'd like you to have a look at these uh, uh, pictures. We have uh, pictures, and uh, one, two, three, and so forth. Uh, there are several pictures. We have this one, it's called saxophone. We have uh, a trumpet. A tube, French horn, a recorder, clarinet, keyboard, bird, a morica, accordion, double bass, cello, violin, bass guitar, guitar. We have a xylophone, uh, oh, sorry, xylophone, snare drum, and Americas. And uh, the last one, we have a microphone. Okay, these uh, musical instruments are also very important to create what we are going to uh, see in our definition. So we have uh, music, according to the Oxford Dictionary. Music is an arrangement of sounds. Music is an arrangement of sounds having melody, rhythm, and usually armory. Ça dit notre sujet, c'est sur la musique. Et nous avons la définition. Euh, je venais de vous montrer quelques instru instruments musicaux qui vont donc euh, nous aider à comprendre la leçon du jour. Okay, so we have uh, some keywords. Nous avons des mots clés. Uh, for instance, melody, rhythm, and uh, armory. Okay, we need instruments, okay, musical instruments to produce what we call bio sounds, sounds, melody, rhythm, and harmony. But what are different kinds of music? But it's not uh, easy to focus on music without, uh, okay, focusing on the different kinds of music. Ici, nous avons les différents genres de musique. For instance, we have rumba, is a kind of music, blues, jazz, rap, classical music. We have classical music, classical music, pop music, reggae, Afrobeat, etc. What is the aim of this lesson? The aim of this lesson is to help our learners have a good vocabulary related to music. Because sometimes people are wondering, how can we deal with a topic? And he say, okay, if you want to speak English, let's focus on the different areas. For example, the area of music, le domaine de la musique. It's important for a learner to have a good vocabulary in order to build what they say is uh, is work uh, to have a good construction and so forth. Right, we have uh, rumba. Apart from rumba, it's uh, just a few. Uh, we can have um, traditional music too. Apart from classical music, we have uh, traditional music. Okay, traditional music, we, we can quote, uh, uh, for example, Kingoli. Kingoli is uh, a traditional music. Sometimes people call by uh, tragic modern music. C'est-à-dire, en dehors de la musique classique, nous avons également la musique traditionnelle. On peut citer entre autres Kingoli, Amaya, Obinta, and so forth. They are called traditional music. Okay? Traditional music is different from classical music because uh, when you are producing uh, this kind of music, you need uh, of some modern uh, musical instruments. The first part, so, as I said, 
The first part is about the different kinds of music. For example, rumba, there is a debate, yeah, un débat uh, sur la paternité de la rumba. Également, pour certains, ça serait euh, d'origine latine, donc Amérique latine. D'autres sont provenance de l'Afrique parce que, avec euh, le commerce triangulaire, il y a eu des esclaves, donc des Noirs, qui ont été donc déportés de l'autre côté. Mais cela n'est pas la question du jour. Mais vous avez le blues. Le blues est une sorte de a music that we can find in America, United States of America. We also have jazz, rap, and so forth. But let's move to the second part. Musical instruments. Okay, we have uh, several musical instruments. Nous avons plusieurs instruments de musique. We have, ici nous n'avons pas cité tous les instruments. C'est justement pour enrichir le vocabulaire des apprenants. We have saxophone, trumpet, clarinet, violin, guitar, keyboard, and we can have harmonica, for example. We have harmonica, accordion, accordion. We have accordion. We have double bass, double bass. Uh, it's uh, very often used in uh, an orchestra. C'est souvent des orchestres hein, de saxophonie, de symphonie, pardon, où on utilise les double bass, cello, violin, bass guitar, and so forth, snare drum, maracas, and so forth. So, we use musical instruments to produce sound, Melody, rhythm, and harmony. Alors, pour avoir de l'harmonie dans la musique, nous avons besoin de ces instruments de musique qui vont donc aider à composer la musique. Okay, the, the third part, we have useful, other useful expression related to music. Alors, pour parler de la musique, nous avons besoin aussi de quelques expressions hein, qui vont donc nous aider à construire notre vocabulaire. We have other useful expressions related to music. Okay, we can quote uh, beats. Beats, c'est le ton. Beats, c'est le ton. We have melody, singer, song, sound, relax, to listen, to play an instrument, to enjoy. We have favorite. CD, CD means, so CD stands for compact disc. To record, record means, on uh, say, we have, uh, what do you say, to listen, okay, we have just quoted, we have uh, also a tube, okay, we need a tube, uh, we have also performance, okay, performance is uh, what you call it in French, by uh, execution, okay, vous présentez un show. We have performance and audience, en français, c'est le public. So it's important to have uh, this uh, kind of vocabulary. And uh, music, don't forget that music, as we say, people, many people love uh, listening to music. Okay, there, there are many, uh, what do I say, uh, too many reasons, for example, because uh, for uh, some people, uh, music, uh, okay, makes us feel at peace. Okay, if we are peacefully, if you are listening to uh, music, for example, and uh, if you are alone, for example, music can strengthen, okay, get, can strengthen us because uh, music is not just a sound. Okay, la musique, c'est pas seulement le son. Okay, c'est également un langage. That way, some people say that music is a universal language. Certaines personnes disent que la musique est un langage universel. So that's why we have some quotes about music. Et nous avons quelques citations sur la musique. For instance, par exemple, music is life itself. La musique est en soi une vie. Music is life itself. Okay, so we have uh, the last part. Okay, we have quoted some famous musicians. But uh, it would be uh, vague to talk about music without quoting some famous musicians. That is, it would be 
euh, incomplet de parler donc de la musique sans en citer quelques noms. We are, for example, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, when you are talking about music, okay, Michael Jackson is, uh, what do you say, uh, is uh, from the United States of America and uh, a good singer too. We are Papa Wimba, okay, from uh, GIC, Democratic Republic of Congo. We have Edunganga from uh, Congo Brazzaville. Okay, we recall by the symbol of our music, hein, the symbol of our music. We have Bob Marley, okay, Bob Marley, uh, because uh, it's a kind of uh, advertisement for a country to have uh, a famous musician. Donc c'est comme une publicité pour un pays d'avoir aussi des musiciens célèbres. Aujourd'hui, quand on parle de, par exemple, des pays comme euh, RDC, Jamaïque, Congo, Grande-Bretagne, les musiciens symbolisent euh, ce que nous appelons l'identité même de ce pays-là. So we have Bob Marley, Ethel John is from England, Great Britain. Uh, we also have uh, Sally Joel from Canada uh, and uh, so forth. So uh, we can complete our release uh, by quoting some famous musicians such as Johnny Holiday from France, Chrissy Jones from the United States of America, Yvonne Chaka Chaka from South Africa. We have, uh, let's say, Luambo, uh, Fela Kuti uh, from Nigeria. Uh, Kumba Galo, Yusundur from Senegal. So, the important for our lesson is to have a good vocabulary. It's very important. So, let's be back. We say music is an arrangement of sound. Arrangement, that means we need a composer. Quand nous parlons d'arrangement, on a besoin d'un compositeur. A sound writer, celui qui écrit la chanson. So it is an association of uh, many people uh, who, what do you say, come together in order to have, uh, what do you say, uh, something which is beautiful, pour avoir quelque chose de merveilleux. Donc ici, le vocabulaire est très important. Lorsque, pendant l'examen, vous allez parler soit des thèmes liés à la musique, Nous allons donc faire recours à ce vocabulaire-là. Donc, so the first part is a different kind of music. Uh, the second part is a musical instrument. Uh, the third one, other used for expressions related to music. We have, for example, a bass, a melody, singer. Okay, we have uh, speakers, the bath speakers. We have uh, Hi-Fi system, system. Yeah, if he, we have to listen, we have to enjoy, to like. We can build uh, some sentences by using uh, the different kinds of music. For example, uh, with the uh, music, uh, the topic music, uh, we, we can put, them, uh, put it together with uh, what we call in English by likes and dislikes, les préférences. For example, with likes, we have some main verbs. To like, to love, we can say, I like music, I love music. Uh, we have, uh, with dislikes, you can say, I hate, for example, rock and roll, okay? And uh, I prefer rumba, for instance. You can say, uh, I'm crazy about, uh, um, about salsa. And uh, we say, I ate, for example, uh, we say, uh, I ate jazz too much. So we have like, uh, prefer, enjoy, okay? They are often used in order to construct or to build a synthesis, okay? When you prefer something, when you have a preference, okay, for something and so forth. So we say, Music is very important. So we say that uh, it communicates so much. Uh, la musique, c'est aussi un moyen de communication. Donc, pour les peuples de cultures différentes, 
la musique peut les associer. We have cultural diversity. Notre diversité culturelle nous réunit à travers la musique. So, as I said earlier, comme je l'ai dit avant, music is a universal language. Okay, without a further delay, well, we have uh, some proposals related to what I say the applied exercises. Applied exercises. We have two types of exercises. The first one is exercises related to vocabulary, and the last one is what we call uh, in English by guided writing. We have guided writing. So. Uh, let's move uh, to our exercises. Okay, in order to check information that you have received or okay, learning music, uh, let's focus on these two exercises. The first one is, we say, match the word in part A with its correspondence in part B. Why is it uh, interesting? It is interesting because uh, it's a kind of uh, general knowledge. C'est la culture générale. General knowledge. Okay, we, we are dealing with it in order to foster what we have uh, uh, taught before. Donc, c'est pour renforcer ce que nous venons de voir. So, we have uh, four, uh, five, sorry, musicians. Okay, uh, there are five musicians. Papa Wimba, as we said, Papa Wimba is uh, a musician. He, he is a famous, but even if uh, he, what is it, he died, uh, okay, well, I think uh, in uh, 2000 and, uh, 2019, Papa Wimba, okay, is uh, from GIC, Bob Marley, Jamaica. Okay, Michael Jackson, United States, Tupac, is from the United States too, and Philakuti. But we are going to link the answer we have in part B with some information we have in part A. Don't forget that music is like what you call by information transfer. That is, la musique, c'est comme la transmission des informations, des connaissances non réditées. On reconnaît un pays également par sa culture et la culture peut être représentée ici par la musique. So we have Papa Wemba, Bob Marley, Michael Jackson, Tupac, Tupac Amaru Shakur, Fela Kuti, and small a, we have rap, B, pop music, C, Afrobeat, D, rumba, E, reggae. As far as uh, the second exercise, it is entitled Gadget Writing. Okay, it helps learners, okay, to remember is uh, grammar construction, is grammatical rules, the grammatical and so forth, in order to deal with uh, these uh, uh, sentences or these questions. Okay, we need, uh, what do you say, to have something uh, concerning vocabulary, concerning grammar and uh, so forth. So we have uh, one very classical, high music, match and enjoy. Don't forget to, co to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, two, question two, we have all sentence two. Any, play, she, instrument, does, and uh, question mark. Any, play, she, instrument. It's pronounced instrument. Any, play, she, instrument, does. Alors, pour aborder cet exercice, nous devons faire recours aux connaissances grammaticales également de notre connaissance vocabulaire. D'où, il faut d'abord compter les différents mots qui composent la phrase pour ne pas... Uh, Fossé donc uh, le résultat. We have uh, three. A. We have uh, A. Grandfather. Composer. My. Is. Généralement, dans les séries scientifiques, ce type d'exercice est toujours de mise. Est proposé. 
Donc, pour vérifier le degré de compréhension de la langue du candidat. Donc, ici, pour que vous ne soyez pas sur euh, mauvais chemin, il faut faire recours à vos cours. Souvent, ici, nous avons la syntaxe, mais il ne faut pas oublier également la sémantique, c'est le sens du mot. Parce que le mot, la syntaxe, c'est l'ordre des mots dans la phrase et la sémantique, c'est le sens. Donc, les deux doivent être associés pour bien répondre aux questions. We have listening. Listening. We have listened to people, music, love. Listening to. Généralement, listening to, ça s'accompagne par la préposition to. Listening to people, music, and love. OK, uh, let's give uh, answers. As far as uh, the first exercise is uh, concerned, we say here, the instruction is clear. La consigne est claire. Match the word in part A with its correspondence in part B. Let's match the word in part A with its correspondence in part B. See, your Papa Wimba. Papa Wimba, we say, uh, the correspondence is Vumba. We know, uh, it is said that uh, JC, Papa Wimba, he, uh, is seen as the king of Rumba. Papa Wimba is seen as the king of Rumba. Papa Wimba is viewed as the roi de la Rumba. That's why it's our figure. C'est donc notre personnage ici. Là. Papa Wimba, we have Papa Wimba and G. What about Bob Marley? Bob Marley, okay, we can associate his name with uh, this kind of music, which is called reggae. Reggae, because uh, Uh, for many what is, uh, say, researchers, for beaucoup de researchers, Bob Marley is the king of reggae. Okay, the king of reggae. For we have Tupac. Tupac uh, is uh, associated with uh, the, the music genre, rap. And for Lakuti, we have Afrobeat. For Lakuti, we have uh, Afrobeat. Okay, let's move uh, to the last exercise. As I said, uh, the next exercise is in terms of the writing. It's uh, like uh, a short paragraph uh, with, uh, with in a disorder, okay? And uh, Elena is asked to uh, put them in order to get uh, a meaningful synthesis. C'est-à-dire ici, on nous demande donc de mettre ces phrases en ordre. Exercise two. Let's reorder. Ça, c'est la meilleure façon de répondre à, à l'exercice ou à la question. On dit, let's reorder this word to get meaningful synthesis. I enjoy classical music very much. As I said, here we need syntaxic. Ici, nous avons besoin de la syntaxe. We need syntaxic. It's a very important. You see, I is the subject. The subject is followed by the verb enjoy, and we have the object or the complement, the complement. So we have I enjoy classical music very much. Because uh, this object is related to the verb enjoy, and enjoy is related to the subject pronoun uh, I. C'est-à-dire les mots sont liés. L'objet du verbe enjoy et enjoy, c'est également pour le sujet I. I enjoy classical music very much. Ici, very much intervient à la fin. Very much, an adverb, very much, much, adverb. Également, prise à part, much is an adverb of quantity. Prise à part, much, c'est un adverbe de quantité. Souvent, il est utilisé pour les nombres... Uh, les noms indénombrables, much water, much food, and so forth. But it is not our case today. C'est pas le cas aujourd'hui. It is just to, okay, to insist, okay, uh, on your love of music, de votre amour, votre préférence à la musique. Voilà pourquoi nous insistons sur very much. Donc, very much occupe la dernière position. Very précède soit l'adverbe 
ou encore l'adjectif. Very beautiful, very nice, and so forth. So, I enjoy classical music very much. Okay, what about the second question? The second question is, uh, we say, does she play any instruments? Does she play any instrument? Okay, to deal with the, this sentence, okay, we need, uh, what do you say, uh, the, the structure of uh, interrogative sentences. C'est-à-dire la structure ou la construction des phrases interrogatives. Here, the tense given is the simple present. Ici, nous avons donc uh, le présent simple or the prison de l'indicative, the simple present. We have that because uh, the subject pronoun is which uh, follows does is in the third person singular. Parce que c'est à la troisième personne du singulier. Voilà pourquoi nous avons does. Does she play? Does she play? Ici, donc, le S qui était d'abord à la forme affirmative disparaît. Par exemple, vous pouvez dire She plays some musical instruments. Elle joue quelques instruments de musique. Maintenant, à la forme interrogative, on dit does. Does, à la troisième personne du singulier, c'est comme i. Does she play any instruments? Does she play any instruments? Généralement, any intervient lorsque la phrase est à la forme interrogative. Souvent, mais également la phrase... Euh, négatif. I haven't any choice. Je n'ai pas de choix. I haven't any choice. So, my grandfather is a composer. My grandfather my précède toujours le nom. My father, my mother, my sister. My grandfather is a composer. Why a? A is a, a indefinite article. And is an indefinite article. Et c'est un article indéfini. It is used before a profession. C'est souvent utilisé avant une profession. Par exemple, I'm a teacher. So we say, Mr. Akanda is a teacher of English. Not the teacher of English. So, A is allowed and it's used before a an occupation, a job, for example, my uh, former, for example, my former boss was a writer. Mon ancien patron était un écrivain. My former boss was a writer. Okay, we have uh, people, the last one, people love listening to music. Souvent, comme je disais, ce sont les verbes de préférence. Il y a love, like, prefer, uh, to be crazy about, to be fond of, to be fond of, on pourrait dire to be fond of, fond of est utilisé pour les noms. I'm a fond of my mom, mom, I'm a fond of my father, I'm a fond of, et les noms, et également les noms des aliments. People love listening to music. After love, like uh, the following verb is in the gerund. C'est-à-dire, ici, on met le gerundif. Gerundif, après love. Love listening to music. Love, what do you say? Uh, for example, love listening to music. Love playing uh, uh, musical instrument, and so forth. So, uh, the construction or the rule is uh, clear. We have plus, verb, plus, Ing, for example, to eat becomes eating, to go becomes going, uh, to swim becomes swimming. For example, people love swimming in the river. People love swimming in the river. We can say, for example, uh, my father likes uh, riding, my uncle likes, my father likes riding, my uncle Uh, likes, for example, driving. We have likes. So we have, for example, my uncle. Uncle likes driving. 
Okay, we have like YS because uh, uh, my, the name anchor, anchor is the subject, and uh, this subject can be replaced by the third person singular, or uh, E. Okay, can you say my? Uh, for example, aunt loves uh, cooking uh, vegetables. My aunt loves cooking vegetables. So, uh, to conclude, let's be back to uh, our lesson. So, as we said, that it's important for a learner to have a good vocabulary related to uh, music because uh, the next uh, topic uh, will be about uh, sport. We have music and its definition, arrangement. Okay, arrangement it's uh, the mixture of sounds and melody to produce what you call by armory. It's a very good and it's sweet for our ears and so forth. We have different kinds of music, for example, rumba, blues, R&B, and uh, so forth, Afrobeat, uh, uh, we say uh, traditional music, uh, pop music, uh, uh, reggae, and so forth. Uh, we also have uh, uh, some musical instrument, instruments here. We have, for example, Okay, we have uh, we have uh, saxophone. We have the, the, the picture is here, Limagela, saxophone, trumpet, tube, uh, French board, accordion, bass guitar, and a guitar. There is a difference between bass guitar. Is the question of sound? C'est le son qui diffère les deux. We have bass guitar and guitar. Okay, simple guitar. So we have uh, xylophone, snare drum, mirrorcast, microphone, and uh, so forth. So uh, apart from musical instruments, okay, we, we have talked about all the useful expressions uh, such as uh, beat, uh, melody. We have loud, loud sound, uh, élevé, okay, loud, quiet, okay, a voix basse, quiet. Solf, okay, la mélodie, quand la mélodie est douce, solf. We have uh, to relax, se relaxer, se détendre, uh, to listen, écouter, okay, to listen, to play an instrument, to enjoy, aimer, apprécier. Ça fait partie donc de la préférence. Favorite, for example, who is your favorite singer? My favorite singer is, uh, for example, Jibim Piano. Your favorite singer is, for example, Rumble, Double A, and so forth. We have some famous musicians, okay? We, we quoted Michael Jackson, Papa Wemba, Edun Ganga, Kuka Celestin, as you know, okay? Uh, we have uh, Bob Marley, Ertel John, Sally John, and so forth. It's uh, very interesting, okay? To, to have uh, some preferences if you like someone, for example. So uh, this lesson is uh, associated with uh, the lesson uh, that uh, I said earlier, preferences, what you like and what you dislike. Okay, and we have uh, some verbs, other verbs, okay, what is a synonyms, okay, which have the same meaning with like, love, and uh, so forth. Okay, don't forget that I'll say, uh, you can have an essay on music, c'est-à-dire une rédaction uh, pour uh, le thème de la musique. Okay. For others, we have uh, some quotes, uh, quotes, nous avons quelques citations. Uh, for example, the only truth is music. C'est-à-dire la seule et l'unique vérité pour certains, c'est la musique. The only truth is music. Okay, another one. We can say music is love in search of a word. La musique est amour dans la recherche d'une parole. Okay, we have also music is the wine that fills the cup of silence. La musique est le vin qui remplit la coupe du silence. Okay, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, as I said, okay, uh, next time we will focus on another topic. 
Okay, it's uh, just uh, what you call by the notion. The notion is uh, music and sport. Okay, in order to avoid confusion, we have uh, for today our focus on music only. Okay, to help our learners to have uh, what I say a good comprehension related to uh, the theme of music. Thank you very much. May God bless. Take care. See you next time. Thank you.